Hey guys, welcome back. Before I start this video, I just want to say thank you to everyone new and old. Without you guys, I would have no motivation to continue uploading videos. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? The new Amsterdam Theatre was under construction from 1902 to 1903. Located on 214 West 42nd Street in New York City, it was the largest theater at that time. Holding a total of 1,702 people, it finally opened after the constructing was done in October 23, 1903. On opening day, they celebrated with Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. However, its main attractions followed from 1913 to 1927, hosting Zakefield Follies, which were a series of theatrical Broadway performances. Waves and waves of more people came to watch these Broadway performances. Of these performances included Olive Thomas. Olive Thomas was born on October 20th, 1894, and in 1914, won the title of The Most Beautiful Girl in New York City, held by a commercial artist. She became a model shortly after that. Subsequently, she was hired by Florenz Zegfeld Jr., who was organizing for his Zegfeld Follies productions. During this time, she had met and eventually married the handsome Jack Pickford, who was the younger brother of Mary and Lottie Pickford. Together, Olive Thomas and Jack Pickford had planned on taking a vacation away since their marriage had not been the best for the two of them. On September 1920, the two traveled and stayed in Hotel Ritz in Paris. In a drunken state, Olive Thomas accidentally took Jack Pickford's mercury bichloride, which was used to help Jack Pickford's syphilis. After realizing what she had done, she called to her husband and they rushed to the American hospital where Jack Pickford and Olive Thomas's brother, Owen Moore, stayed beside her for the remaining five days of her life. What made this case interesting was the fact that their marriage was complicated nonetheless and had many motives for Olive Thomas to end her life, or for her husband, Jack Pickford, to murder her in cold blood. Under the given circumstances of Olive Thomas's death, many theories have risen. First of all, either grabbing for alcohol or sleeping pills, she somehow grabbed the bottle of mercury bichloride, which is in a completely different containment than a bottle of alcohol or a pack of pills. Considering that the mercury bichloride was a liquid solution, it had to be contained with some type of lid. Furthermore, with their marriage ultimately falling apart, Jack Pickford could have murdered her due to insurance money. One thing to mention is the fact that Olive Thomas and Florence Ziegfeld had an affair while she was working in the Ziegfeld Follies. This could have led Jack Pickford to murdering Olive Thomas. Another theory suggests that Olive Thomas was suicidal because of Jack Pickford's numerous affairs that he had with other women. One last theory suggests that both Jack Pickford and Olive Thomas had drug addictions. While high, Olive Thomas drank the poisonous mixture of mercury by chloride. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Because of her time spent in the New Amsterdam Theatre, she has decided to haunt it after her death. In fact, there are many incidents where backstage workers have seen a girl in a green dress carrying a bottle, which was often the costume that Follies actresses had to wear prior to performances.
Moreover, she had been seen multiple times on the roof and on stage. One incident had the New Amsterdam renovating in 1990s. Again, workers saw an apparition of a woman. A security guard saw what seemed to be a trespasser at night when he saw a woman dressed in the prominent green folly dress on stage. When he called her out, she ran off and apparently out onto the streets. She can be seen even to this day. So let me know in the comments if you've ever been to the New Amsterdam Theater and if you have heard of these haunting stories. If you want to read more about Olive Thomas, read the descriptions below. I've pasted a few interesting links that you may want to check out. Until next time, thanks for watching.